down. He could call me. Get the men in the uh, in the white coats because Manchester United are minus 105 against Newcastle at plus 270. Newcastle going from strength to strength. Newcastle don't mind playing Homer away. They've got good pace. They've got good professional players. Man United, for me, looked very good for at least an hour on um, last weekend. I think the minus 105 stinch is too big. There must be ways to obviously bump that up with a Man United and over. Uh, but Newcastle are dangerous, and that's why they're only plus 270. The draws at plus 290. Under over is at three with minus one one uh, plus one one five on the over. That means it must be what minus one fifteen for the over two and a half. Uh, yeah, for, uh, a little, uh, no, a lot shorter, probably like minus one thirty. Uh, I think make this... a, so. That half a goal is like really going to be going so that they are saying basically maybe Man United two, Newcastle one before we start. Yeah, essentially, essentially based on, on the odds. I'm not sure it's going to be uh, high scoring. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, the minus 105 United, I actually think is 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 a bit risky. I, would have, I, would, I wouldn't I would be backing United at, at those odds. But then again, with United, I think probably one of the hardest teams to price up in the, in the Premier League. You know, they can be... They can be sublime at times, so downright absolutely awful. And, you know, in my mind, that has them anything from, like, I don't know, minus 150 all the way up until probably, I don't know, plus plus 115, something like that. Such is the, the volatility in, the, in their ability. Um, so I think it's a real, real tricky one. I mean, Newcastle are having a fabulous season, aren't they? Um, even with the fact they've got some injury issues, uh, I think Sam Maximone is back now, um, which is a positive. Uh, Isaac, I'm not sure 100% on where he's at. They've still obviously got the likes of Almir on, who's he's got four goals all, already this season. Defensively, they've been fairly solid. Um, and again, United are in action in Europe on on Thursday. Newcastle got a whole week off to prepare. Uh, so, yeah, I, I wouldn't be going near this, this Man United price. Um, and again, I do think the goal line is quite high. Um, you probably don't want to, it's not really a working man's price, is it? Under three at minus 135. But, uh, you know, maybe under 2.775 goals, sort of minus 110. Maybe that's the, the, the way to go in, in, instead. Um, yeah, I just think basically United are so so hard to predict probably the hardest team to predict in the league and I just think throwing in the fact they're in Europe as well could mean all sorts of things so yeah a complete no bet for me uh, but if I, if I had to maybe try and get with Newcastle somehow okay um, I just like the uh, tempo of the way that Man United played um, at the weekend I know they was away from home but they totally dominated the game for in possession I'm liking the Fernandez, Anthony, Rashford in behind one up front. Looks like it's going to have to be um, Ronaldo again because Martial went missing uh, on the injured, obviously. Uh, Marco Howe, Man United, Newcastle. A lot of people, I think, the Newcastle, like, plus half, double chance at minus 115 is the way to go. But I see Man United winning the game. I was going to go a little bit like your Arsenal selection. Man United to win and both teams to score, but... I know that Man United also are happy to just win one two nil. Yeah, I need to see more from United apart from just being an Everton team who, despite where the league position says and what their points say, are projecting as a as a bottom three side. So, yeah, you know, I know it's five wins from six for United, but um, you know some of those wins have been pretty unadventurous and unexciting. Um, so I need to see a bit more from them. Still not completely trusting in the defence. I know Casemiro came in and made a bit of an impact, but. Um, yeah, uh, like Stinch, really, I'm, I'm finding them hard to place at the minute. And I was interested in goals, but I think that goal line was was off-putting. Overs and both teams to score is minus money. That's very off-putting. So it was a, a no bet for me on that front. Um, Newcastle, they've only lost once this season. Um, that was the last gasp defeat uh, away at Liverpool. They held Man City, of course. I know that was at St James's, but the squad is looking fit and healthy again. Isaac is due back in the squad, possibly just from the bench this weekend. Bruno's there being very influential. Sam Maximan, Wilson. And I think when that trio or the quartet are available, Newcastle can cause problems against any defence. But um, my ratings of United ranked in, in mid-table at the minute in Newcastle and top six. So that's probably why the prices are where they are at right now. But um, yeah, just a, a word of caution on Newcastle. Uh, I know they've scored loads of goals in the last couple of weeks, but one came the game against Fulham came after an early red card, a um, bit of a walkover win. And as I said earlier, Brentford 
may as well have just handed over four goals to Newcastle last week before they kicked off. So it was very, very generous in, in their defending. So, um, But uh, on the flip side, United, surprisingly so, have con- conceded in 17 of their 22 home Premier League games going back to the start of last season. Uh, not really conducive to winning matches when minus money. So quite happy to sort of leave both teams alone. Was slightly favouring the, the goals, but um, not the, the market prices. So no bet for me. OK, I expect Man United to come out. I was going to go Man United to be leading at half-time. Um, but in the end, my official pick was uh, Manchester United to win an over one and a half. Obviously, I know that that obviously then brings in the 2-0. Uh, Only the 1-0 is going to kill me. So maybe I should have gone Man United to win an under four and a half. But who knows with this new Plus, castle side. Yes, mate. I- I like the look of uh, United over two and a half cards, to be honest, plus 145. Oh, OK. People have been people love that when you say about Man United. Man United, yeah. what is that? Over what? It's over two and a half, which is a bit high, but, but in return you're getting plus 145. And I, I've got okay. it closer to plus 115. They've got, they've picked up, uh, I think it's 24 cards already this season. Yeah, 24 cards in just, in just nine games. So you're looking yeah. at you know, nearly three a game there. Um, and you, we know how petulant they are. And if Ronaldo starts, I think that brings the, the card total up as well. So it's a bit risky. I'd rather I'd rather back a shorter price at a lower line. But uh, you know, if, if you feel if you feel like you're happy to be a bit more bold, then uh, yeah, over 2.5 United cards at plus 145. I, I think yeah, and, and Newcastle have got the personnel to uh, to entice them yes. them dangling uh, lazy challenges as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, plus 145 for Man United to get free. Craig Pawson, he averages around five get a cards a game. Um, and if Man United do go up, then uh, you fancy you're going to get a response because there's a newfound confidence in this Newcastle side. OK, so it's Man United and over one and a half at plus 130. Wouldn't put anyone off Man United to win and under four and a half around plus 110. 